it's pretty crazy that there's going to be a baby going from there to there pretty soon. Yep, the bassinet has arrived. I was going for my walk and I came back and there it is waiting. It's very cute. And John's been like standing over. He's like, it's so crazy there's going to be a baby in there. We need to get our chair. Mm -hmm. ah, John has to put it together for me. I'll put it together. Ooh. It's like I'm Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you might almost knock the TV over. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Simon! See? Love boxes. And of course, Mr. Simon has found his way into the box. Hey, don't eat that. So kitty. Daddy's setting up his daughter's bassinet. This is confusing. Is it really? Kinda. It's coming together. This is supposed to hang on the outside. It's pink stuff. Okay. Right? I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah, that hangs down. The fabric. Skirt onto floorboard to make sure align bottom openings with pre-drilled holes on floorboard. Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. It's you can do so it. My daughter's birthday. Are you sure, sure my nose isn't bigger? Yeah, because I really like your cute little nose. It's one of your very attractive features, and it hasn't changed. Oh, that was so nice. He just made me smile. <laughs> oh, but I swear, I keep looking in the mirror, and I think my nose is bigger. Because when you're pregnant, I guess your nose can spread sometimes, and it like widens. And I'm like, I don't know, I feel like my nose is bigger. Just a weird little nitpicking thing. Anyway, we're on our way to Petco right now. Why are we going to Petco? We're going to pick up the vacuum. But on a side note, I can fit a quarter of my one of my nostrils, both of my nostrils. They're really? gigantic. Cheese. Horse nose. That's kind of mean. That was mean? I was I kidding. That. I like your nose too. You have a horse nose? I, I think don't have your horse, horse teeth. I do have horse teeth. Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Somebody told me I had horse teeth in like sixth grade and she was cross-eyed and I was like, really? You're cross-eyed. How about we just leave each other alone? <laughs> <laughs> John asks if I want to wait in the car. Oh no. I want to see what this vacuum store is all about. I've heard so much about it. Yeah, that's not true, but you're in for a big surprise. There's a lot, I mean, there must be 30 vacuums in there. <laughs> so if you're into vacuums, it's woo, woo, paradise. Well, I'm curious. I want to see what a vacuum repair shop There's is like. There's a picture of our vacuum on the wall. Is there really? Yeah. Like ours specifically? Uh, no, but we could sign it. If this, it I was just going to make the same joke. Yeah, like we could, we could autograph the picture of the mealy if they want. Okay, yep, it's just how I imagined it. With vacuums everywhere and vacuum oh, accessories. Our vacuum's back! Yay! It doesn't feel very manly carrying a vacuum through the streets. Like, I thought that yeah, it's like your baby. baby. No, well, kind of. I'm becoming more and more detached to it day by day because of our real baby. But it is a fantastic <laughs> vacuum. Onward to Petco! Where the pets go? Hey, they stole my line. We stopped at a gas station for ice cream treats on the way here. So I actually have no idea why we're at Petco. What do we need? What are you talking about? You wanted to come. You wanted to come. You said we have to go to Petco. We need cat food and dog food and crickets, I think. Crickets? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Crickets, crickets, crickets. Yeah, I got the good stuff. Hey, that's ripped. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me sad that it'll never go back to that perfect shape that it is when you buy it in the store. A bag of cat food? Really? Yeah, or dog food. <laughs> it's Simon! Simon should be a cat model. He's totally got the look. He's fierce. But carry out crickets. I think we're good to go. That was quick. Furling. I mean, Nerf. Thor, do you always get a new toy when we go to Petco? Yes, yes I do. That's going to be an outside toy for you though, yes? Oh, you're not excited about this at all, are you, Doodle? Oh, say no, no, I'm not. My poker face is strong. You cannot tell that I want it. Dun, 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 dun. Thor, you could have caught that. Good boy. Ch -ch -ch. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Wrong way. Ch -ch -ch. Good boy. All right, one more time. Thor, catch, catch, catch. 
la 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 la. Catch, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, so close. We'll have to work on that one. I have another doctor's appointment today. It's my 34 week checkup. And John's actually supposed to meet me here because he went to go work out. So he's not with me right now. I guess he's gonna be waiting in the office for me. Stop trying to take a picture of me. No. Stop it. I like, and I changed all the settings on my camera and my phone so that like, you couldn't focus on you and then it's just like really like pitch black. But okay. I just turned the light. Yep, John made it. He's here. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you, oh, you think I was gonna make it? I don't know. You weren't here when I first walked in. Yeah, but I had to get this stupid band, and I had to get gas, and I had to stop at the bank. I made a pretty good time. All right. Yeah. All right. I just appreciate you being here. I left the basketball court at 125. You asked a lot of questions today. About what? I don't know. To the nurse. Oh, just well, stuff. it's because I had a couple questions. <laughs> I feel bad about myself. Why? I'm heavy. Well, you're pregnant. Yeah, but I weigh almost as much as you. I weigh, I don't think that's possible. Almost? Not, yeah, but you know, like not by like 20 pounds, 15 pounds, that's a lot of weight. 15 pounds? That's not yeah, that it much. Is. Yeah. I think it is. It's weird, like... They're beautiful. Thank you. And that's besides, nice. your melons are like 10 pounds a piece. It's all in my boobs, I should just tell myself that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all boobs and baby. It is, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I don't know, it just it seems like a lot. Because sometimes I like won't gain anything one week and I'll be like, oh, I only gained like one pound in two weeks. Awesome. And then I come in and I'm like, what? Now all of a sudden I'm four pounds heavier? How did that happen? Five pounds heavier? What? It's just random. I think hospitals probably have higher end scales too. Like medical scales way more exact. But you are also weighed with your clothes on and yeah. that adds a couple pounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not like crazy, but it can add like three pounds. And some fancy sunglasses. Yeah, these uh, these sunglasses are actually 15 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that neck, you know, neck weight supported right? going. Right? Work keep it. my neck strong. Yeah. So everything went well at the doctor's office. My blood pressure is normal. There's no protein in my urine. Everything is good. The doctor did say that I'm carrying a lot of water weight and that is contributing to the number on the scale. I could have a couple pounds in water weight right now. She says she, it's noticeable in my face and in my hands and in my feet. So she said that it would be safe for me to drink some cranberry tea to try and relieve the, some of the swelling. So let's see if this works. I can see it in my face though. I think my face looks a little bit bigger today, but I'll keep sipping on this tea, see if it helps. Oh, and I guess retaining fluids is common during the last months of pregnancy. It's just one of those things that goes with being pregnant. <sighs> I just tried to vacuum and the vacuum cleaner is exactly the same. They did not fix it. So we have to take the vacuum cleaner back. So the carpets are gonna have to stay dirty a little while longer. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I've been getting stuff put away and I can't tell you how much satisfaction it's bringing me finding a place for our daughter's things. Well, I organized this a bit, put some toys and books and shoes here, and then I put all her clothes in here and I organized them into months, so newborn, three months, six months plus, and actually all her clothes fit in there. So I might not even have to get a dresser for a while and this will save some space for the time being. Then here's her bassinet with all the tin foil on it. So the tin foil is on her bassinet because we read in a book that it helps train cats that you should get what your baby's gonna sleep in early and cover it in tin foil because it teaches the cats not to jump up on it and the cats don't like the tin foil. Although, Isn't that right, Simon? <laughs> Although it made me nervous that Simon might actually like it. I don't think he does. No, he hasn't jumped up on it at all. And I chased him around with some tin foil and he was like, Ah! <laughs> Another ride that Simon be. That's weird though, isn't it? I, I, I've never heard of that before, that cats don't like to jump on tin foil. They don't so, like... So, good to know. Helpful tip. Well, they don't like walking on things that they like are unsure of so when it like goes up and down it crinkles and it crunches they don't know if they're stepping in like a solid place and that's they really like hate that oh Ooh, look at all them shoes 
Yep, I just showed everyone my little shoe corner there. I'm making cookies. Here, I just took the tin foil off it real quick so you guys can see how cute it is. I still gotta cut the tags off the mobile part, but there is our daughter's bassinet, all pink and pretty and super cute. It's gonna be kind of crowded in our bedroom with all the stuff, but that's okay. I feel more comfortable with her sleeping in here where she's close and I can get to her. That's right, I got a new robe. Woo! And it feels so nice. But anywho, we are on our way to pick up the Honda right now. I got the brakes done today. Uh, the rotors were warped and they were squeaking and the pads were uh, pretty worn down. But for all the driving that we've done with that car going back and forth from Minnesota and putting lots and lots of miles on it, uh, it actually, the brakes have held up for a really long time. So it's just time to get new ones, but we're gonna pick it up and then we probably might be seeing a movie later. There's the Honda all ready to go. The tires look so shiny. They clean my rims too. That's my impression of one of the characters from Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a movie we're going to see right now. And I guess it's been a few weeks since it's been out, but Nikki and I thought it'd be best to wait um, before it comes out because we don't like going to theaters that are just overcrowded with people texting and talking all the time. Um, so it should be a great night to go to a movie. I actually, I, I heard this movie's supposed to be really good. Yeah, I that's why we're going. Like we don't go to bad movies. We watch them on demand. <laughs> we go to bad movies sometimes. Like what? I don't know. I can't think of an example right off the top of my head. I'm See, sure we don't to go bad to bad movie movies. Before. We go to watch them on demand. Well, I've heard good things about Guardians of the Galaxy. Me too. I was going to say Guardians of the Angels, but that's not right. I think we might have got too much snacks. Oh well. It's a movie. That's just, that's what snacks are for. Wait, do you have my yep. little Twix and got it all. strawberries? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what did you think of the movie? It was good. You liked it? I didn't think it was like unbelievably like super awesome, but I think maybe that comes with me just probably like getting older and being like, ah, oh, it's just another movie. Movie jaded. Oh not... my god, Simon, get down! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Simon, bad cat. Simon! No! Back it! I liked the movie, but I had a hard time paying attention. My thoughts just kept wandering while I was in the theater. I was just thinking about too much stuff. And I wish I could have paid more attention because it was funny. I was cracking up at parts and it was a, definitely an entertaining movie. So I think I'm probably going to have to watch it again when it comes out on TV. Look, I've been making some progress getting the house less cluttered and more organized. Put Found some places for some of the baby stuff. So there's less boxes in the corner here and up here is different, and all these big boxes full of baby clothes and baby stuff is gone from over here now. It's a work in progress. I'll do a little here and a little there, but I have to take a lot of breaks because my back starts hurting. But at least I'm making a difference. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up. It's late, I gotta go to bed. So please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, we love to hear from you. And always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.